This is a hard matchup, hey man. a really challenging matchup for Snake. So I'm actually really excited to see how this is going to go right now. So we're going into a game one of Utopian Ray versus Looney Tunes. <laughs> and and uh, straight out, all he's <laughs> already off rip RPG, OK? Yeah, Utopian Ray is already starting out with those projectiles because he doesn't want Snake to pull any of those grenades right now. Just trying to mess up his whole game plan. He already attacked on a quick 82%. All right, just you see Utebi Ray is just being so oppressive to Snake right now. Not even trying to give him the chance to do anything he wants, and that's that. That's <laughs> definitely the chance, it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not even trying to give him the chance. Yeah. Wow, in his face. Yeah, yeah. So that's pretty much the game plan when you have to when oh, it comes no. to fighting Snake. You see, because you have to get in his space, right? If you let him set up his grenade nonsense, if you let him get in. Let him trade with you a whole bunch. You're gonna lose. So um, true up, Nikita actually doing it, uh, bouncing the, uh, bouncing the goddess right off the stage. And oh, this isn't good. Him in the air, getting juggled. One air dodge, and that could be a. Whoop. Oh yeah, no, it's great air dodge. Retreat back to ledge. And uh, yeah, nice trade, nice grenade trade, getting him off of him. Whoa, Blue Tunes got to keep pulling out them grenades, man. It's it's been kind of saving him in those moments. Wow, and really smart air dodge. Yeah, and Ray's not even really giving giving him a chance to pull out these grenades. Yeah. Um, so smart on Ray, really just taking care of the, jabs, the jumps every time he sees it. And every air dodge, bang. Yeah, Might get another one. Yeah, 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 he did the D.A.N. Okay, and it looks like uh, Looney is just trying to get him get him off him. He's trying to do down arrow to shield. Anything that, to create space from Palu right now. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Man, and, that's rough. Yeah, and if you're wondering why, why he's D.I.ing in like that, because uh, the mix-up is a Palu forward throws you and you can maybe die off a bad DI. And uh, that percent, especially at like 140 he was at. So he was just trying to DI in to not die. And he died anyway. So um, yeah, nice frame for that. You see now he's really bringing out the grenades. He's playing a little slower than before. He's getting the hits. And oh, what a what? smart did, stick. Yo, yes, wait, he did. Did he stick him just now? Yes, he did. That stick was crazy. Yes, he did. It was nice and quick, evasive. And right now, oh my goodness. That stick was crazy. I have to say <laughs> this. He just has to be careful of his jumps. Yeah, and that neutral beat is pretty much like shutting down all that projectile, all the projectile options that he yeah. was trying to throw out. Yeah, uh huh. Utopia Ray looking very experienced in this matchup. Yeah, yeah. Up there's that grenade. It's definitely not, oh, not going to hit. I, I don't know about that one, man. Yeah, he's just trying to create space, as much space as possible. And. <laughs> and Ray was aware that that bomb was there. The C4 is right beneath him. Oh, no. This is going to be a trap for him, man. Okay. Okay, please get those big hits. Yeah, he's on the ground, and this is all he wanted. He just wanted to get on the ground. He wanted More. to gain some type of footing. More grenades. Oh, and that neutral be just kind of messing Snake up. Scaring me. He's still in this now. He's still alive. He's still living. But one good hit ought to do it, man. I'm telling you. Right there. Mm. There it is. Mm. That one hit. Yeah, and, and that situation, like, Looney, ju he just wanted to land on the ground, and Snake, with that type of rage, he was pretty much, like, two, three hits away from killing Palu. So, um, yeah, but great stuff by Ray. He wasn't letting him do anything. Like, the new should be kind of just, like, messes up his whole freaking game plan. As it does. We're really smart on Ray's end. Taking on in game one, just any time. Once again, anytime he saw those jumps, he, he was making sure to catch them, or any air dodge he saw, he was just taking advantage of that right there. I don't know. I don't know about going to the top with Snake every time. I really, I really wonder what's like the plan there. You know? Yeah. Um. I think what he just doesn't think? want to go low. Cause if you go low, um, you die. Especially against as, Palu. Yeah, against Palu, especially that. Cause really? the Nikita. I mean, excuse me. The Cipher only has what a uh, seven percent. Yeah, something really low like that. Something really bad. <laughs> so you could kind of just blow up, blow him up like really easy. Boom. Oh. So uh, how do you how do you feel about the stage pick coming coming from the Snake? Uh, it's making it easier for Ray, definitely, <laughs> to be hitting those. But um, honestly, I'm unsure myself. I don't really, don't really, I'm not really aware on like what Snake's uh, best stages are or what they prefer to go to. Yeah. But um, right now, I, I feel personally, it's definitely going to make it easier for Ray to just actually trap him. To be honest. Yeah, it just looks like maybe he wanted more platforms to land on, maybe to mix up more options. Because PS2, you only have those two stat, yeah, those two platforms to the side, so it's kind of easy to know where you're going to land. At least with this, you have three different platforms. And when you try to read that roll to up to it, I respect it. Oh, were you smart? Oh, that could have been up there, maybe? Yeah, no. He, he, see, the thing about it is I know he doesn't want to overextend because overextending against Palu in this situation gets you killed. So he's playing on thin ice right now, playing against Palu. Oh, man. It's like you said, the, the, the new should be just shutting out his options when he's yeah. really far. Yeah, it's making it really it, rough. It like blows up the grenade. It also hits Snake, also makes Snake shield. So it's not like he could throw out the grenade before any of this happens. It's... 
Okay. But right now, let's see, let's see how he, let's see how he does an advantage. Yeah, nice. nice. Nice down there on the shield. Oh, wow. And that's just shutting down the Nikita right there in that one scenario. Ooh, and Looney trying to get a little creative, trying to blow up the CFR on the platform and snap your token away. Oh, my goodness. Oh, down there, Reed. He's just doing another. <laughs> yeah, he's doing, a loop -loop. he's doing a loop to loop out of shield. He can't really do much about it. Well, C4 is inbound. Mm. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, and um, he... I think this is one of the merits to picking the stage, because you trap Utopian Ray's landing on one la in one platform. He had the C4, and the other landing, other C4, and he, excuse me, other platform he had his feet. So, yeah, crazy stuff. You see, you see the percent that he racked up? That freaking yep. racked up. Yep. Yep. I. See. But now he's gonna have to find some way to seal the kill on on Ray, and it's just looking trickier and trickier. Yeah, but he's I, definitely I, getting that damage. I don't think he's having much trouble securing the kill as he as he is getting in advantage. Oh man! <laughs> Woo! We're definitely seeing some more grenade shots. Wow! Oh, he tried that, to stick him again. Yeah, but that was on the platform this time. Okay, let's see. Yeah, yeah. Nice, you know, nice um, life trapping by Ray. Oh, that up tilt definitely would kill at this percent right there. And there oh, it yeah. is. Yeah, with grab by Ray right in Snake's face, you know you're getting that boot to the face. Like. Not even a question. No, right now it's an even game, like, and an even game, like, this could go either way. Even though Palo's doing this, you getting close to Snake and you start trading, it's not fun. Oh, and now it's getting to the point where that that shield is getting shield poked by the neutral beast. Again, Ray. Looks like he's going to. He's trying to get his way in there. Oh, he gets a grenade. Yeah, and Looney's, oh, trying, Looney's just trying to get in. Yeah, he is. Now he's got now he's got Rain in the trap. Really yeah. good adjustments coming from Loons. Yeah, and it just looks like he's getting he's having an easier time just getting in Ray's space. Um, he's having great uses of the dash tag just to break zone because it's. Gita. <gasps> There's a grenade up. Ooh, there what? it is. Yeah, yo, <laughs> that was nice. That was sick. Mom, that <laughs> yo, was hello? Sick. hello. I was, wait, I was low key waiting for that. I had, I had a feeling. Groups. Yo, the way he cooked that grenade and just, excuse me? Yeah, that's sick, man. Hello? That's probably one of my favorite things to see. Oh, and the Boom. Thing, and that was that was even crazier because he dropped the grenade just so we could get out an added shield option just to re-grab the Thor back up. And just and toss it up. That's mm -hmm. crazy. That's great awareness by, um, by Looney. Battle, All right. Got ourselves a match, folks. Oh, going right back to PS2, though. Yes, we are. Game three. Palu Snake. Let's see how that goes. Going straight into it. Wow, putting her right on the go. <laughs> you, know, you know, it just seems like this is this is the type of matchup where how long can you keep the other opponent in disadvantage? Yes. And um, the longer you keep your opponent in disadvantage, the more likely you, you are going to win. I know it sounds kind of simple, but in a matchup it's like not. this where like one option could shut down your whole kit, like you're seeing Khaled using the neutral B, mm -hmm. um, kind of exaggerates, you know, the situation at hand. Even aside from just a matchup against a player like Ray, at that, you know, it's a, uh, it could be really tricky, especially when when he gets one hit and then this happens. Now he has to be really careful. Wow, what a good, what a good dodge coming from Looney right there. Yeah, and Looney detonating the C4 and letting the grenade grenade explode at the same time, just like so a reset the position of the C4. Oh. You can definitely see in this game and last game, in comparison to like the first one, he's finding his way to the floor a lot easier. Yeah, and he, in general, he's just playing a lot more in Ray's face because um, what Ray yes. wants is space. And, and and a lot more grenades, too. Yeah, and the one thing about Palu, her best buttons come from her jumping. So if he gets so if he gets in Palu's face and starts boxing with her, he might not have the best option to combat what Snake is doing. Now, Looney is moving right now. He gets the up tilt. He still has the grenade. Looney just adjusting right now. Now raise the one on the de on the defense man. He has to actually make his way through Looney's stock right now, some way somehow. Yeah, but and right now he's just taking his time. Yup, Looney's not even giving him the chance. <laughs> no, he's just taking his time. He's not. He's oh, not. A, he's not Ray's approaching Ray for now. nothing. Nope. <laughs> 
playing comfortably in that mid range. There's just bombs dropping. <laughs> Yo, Yo. And, and that trade <laughs> saved him. That trade saved him from dying Dude, on the top to up air. I thought he was trying to fall past him and up air, man. I would have cried. That'd been crazy. And we got that C4 on the floor. Yeah. Let's keep that in mind, folks. Up. <laughs> Right now, he's he's trying to bait Ray really hard to do yes, something he stupid. To the floor. Nice. Nikita. Okay, okay. So, Ooh. oh, no, no, he didn't stick. He didn't yeah. stick. He's in the middle of the stage. It's really, it's literally in the center of the Pokeball. Yeah. This ain't the same Looney from the first game, bro. Yeah. Yeah, he right. Fair. He yes. woke. He woke now. Snake with the lead, man. Oh, my. Yeah. And yeah. you know that's you know that's the thing that a lot of people get caught by, especially in the snake matchup. Um, snakes like the spot dodge up tilt, and if you whiff a grab in front of Snake's face, you will get hit by the yes, up tilt. Yes, you will. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. So that's why playing against Snake from a deficit is kind of it's kind of dangerous because you start running into feet, start running into bombs, start running into boots. It's not a fun experience. Drops on the floor. Get, get put to sleep. <laughs> the, the grenades. Every. Yo, <laughs> Yo, he's trying to light up the whole stage, bro. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh. This looks like, oh, Ray had him in the corner, but now he's like, he made his way out. Woo. Yeah, this like, just seems like Looney's a lot more oh comfortable. Oh my god. A lot more comfortable right That's now. It. And he caught him, he caught him with the up air. Yeah, and like what, like what you were talking about before, you know, him going high up, you know, he could probably get sniped like that eventually. Man. Yeah. Especially if Ray knows he's going to be up there. In time. If he can get up there in time before he does, he's definitely catching him. And while there's the tilt, there's the grenade. Who's about to see Reminisce of the last game, man. Yeah, the spot does up tilt, man. Oh, same Did thing, he? same thing. <laughs> I thought he stuck him for a second. I almost bugged out. <laughs> Ooh. We, on, so, okay. <gasps> oh, that's not good. That's not good. Okay, let's see what he and does. Ray's just in a really rough position right now. Looney is oh, just no. catching him. But he's running into so many of these explosions. You know he wants oh, that up. He stuck, he stuck him. He stuck him. He stuck him. He's, oh, my. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, right now, um, Lun needs to be careful because I know he's taking his time. And oh, the spot dodge it. up tilt. You said it yourself, man. Spot dodge up tilt. You whiff that grab, you're gonna get hit. So here's that. the th so here's the thing about that, right? So yeah. he's trying to approach Snake when he has a grenade in his hand. Thing about that is he only has one two options. Yeah. Either he he drops the grenade to grab or spot dodge, or he throws it. That's what he does when he's in that position. So, literally, he did one of the two options that he had. 